a goalball court, a white woman, Molly Quinn. Good evening. My name is Molly Quinn, CEO of the United States Association of Blind Athletes. As we all look to rebound from the effects of the pandemic and resume or increase our fitness levels, United States Association of Blind Athletes is proud to support the American Council for the Blind's Get Up and Get Moving campaign. Our vision is for every American who is blind and visually impaired to lead a healthy lifestyle by actively participating in sports, recreation, and physical activity. The Get Up and Get Moving campaign is a fantastic way to raise awareness about the harmful effects of a sedentary lifestyle and the numerous benefits of committing to a life of physical activity. Paralympians train. Like many of you, the Paralympic athletes on our USA men's and women's goalball teams were forced into confinement last year due to the pandemic. While they learned to train and maintain their fitness levels on their own, they were also hit with the news that the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games were to be postponed for an entire year. The dreams and goals that they had worked so hard for would require another full year of dedication. Our goalball athletes had to recommit themselves to 12 more months of training while putting other life events on hold. But something remarkable happened during this extra year of training. Our USA goalball teams saw the hand they were dealt as a unique situation. Instead of lamenting over another year of training and self-sacrifice, they seized it as an opportunity to become better. And they've done just that. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the teams to you now. Blindfolded goalball players in action. The USA men's goalball team for the Tokyo Paralympic Games. Daryl Walker, Jacksonville, Florida. 2016 silver medalist. Third Paralympic Games. Bald and bearded black man. Tyler Marin, Coral Springs, Florida. Two-time Paralympic medalist. Fourth Paralympic Games. Clean-shaven white man with dark hair. John Kusku, Commerce Township, Michigan. 2016 silver medalist. Second Paralympic Games. A white man kicks high. Callahan Young, Irwin, Pennsylvania. First Paralympic Games. White man with red hair and beard. Matt Simpson, Smyrna, Georgia. 2016 silver medalist. Second Paralympic Games. A white man with dark hair. Zach Bueller, Huntington, Indiana. First Paralympic Games. A bearded black man. The USA women's goalball team for the Tokyo Paralympic Games. Lisa Chetkowski, Boonton, New Jersey. Three-time Paralympic medalist in goalball. Six Paralympic Games. A red-haired white woman. Amanda Dennis, Peachtree City, Georgia. 2016 bronze medalist. Third Paralympic Games. The white woman smiles and waves. Mindy Cook, Columbus, Ohio. First Paralympic Games. White with blonde hair and glasses. Mary By Hooking, Salt Lake City, Utah. 2016 bronze medalist, second Paralympic Games. Asian with light hair. Eliana Mason, Beaverton, Oregon. 2016 bronze medalist, second Paralympic Games. White with long hair and glasses. Asia Miller, Portland, Oregon. Three-time Paralympic medalist in goalball, sixth Paralympic Games. A white woman, arms outstretched. Against the U.S. flag, letters in silver, USA 2020 Paralympic goalball team. So as I get this opportunity to be here with you today, I'm here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, the home of the USA goalball men's and women's team at the Olympic and Paralympic training site, Turnstone Center. What an incredible facility, and our teams are ready. News footage. U.S. Olympic and Paralympic. Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games. We're set to play in the Paralympic Games. U.S. Association of Blind Athletes. Honor of the Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games. The moniker that we've started to say now is finish the job. Your USA men's and women's national goalball teams are giving their all to represent Team USA. In goalball games, blindfolded players hurl a large blue ball on a quest to bring home the goal. Now you can join the movement. A woman defender, another woman tosses the ball, a coach with young players. Join us in supporting the next generation of Paralympic athletes. Goal ballers grin. Players face us. And provide more opportunities for the blind or visually impaired. 
the athletes raise their heads toward us. A woman stretches her arms wide. Another Paralympian blows a kiss to spectators. The woman's team players join hands and raise their arms. Opportunities that prove anything is possible. An official places a medal around a player's neck. The countdown is on. Join the team, donate to the campaign, or share your support. Sign up at usaba.donordrive.com. United States Association of Blind Athletes, where Olympic and Paralympic journeys begin. With just over a month until the flame is lit in Tokyo for the Paralympic Games, your USA men's and women's goalball teams are revving up for the competition that awaits them. Two American flag logos, one with the Olympic rings below, the other with swirls in red, blue, and green.